my yarn space has become a total disaster. So I've enlisted my daughter who loves organizing to help me come and give it a good cleanup. Okay. So we have a lot going on here and we started kind of taking some of the yarn out of the storage area. This is my lovely attic and we have originally set it up to be like a play space and a hangout room and then my yarn started kind of taking over. I had a lot of it in my closet and I was running out of room. So I t was able to take over half of the space here and make this kind of my yarn spot, but I'm definitely running out of room. So what I think we're gonna do, originally I had my yarn organized in terms of fingering weight yarn was in the top, then I had DK and worsted in here. And then I had my We Are Knitters, the wool, and some Lion Brand yarn down there. Books, and then just some miscellaneous. So I think what we're gonna do is take all the yarn, start putting it in piles so that we can kind of re-put it back in here and maybe go through some other bins. Let's get started, Macy. So I got this fable fur from Knit Picks to make a baby blanket a I couple years one's ago. The, that, this one's the cutest, I think, the light blue. Yeah. So I got it to make a baby blanket years ago, and as you can see, I never made the baby blanket, so maybe this year I'll finally make mm -hmm. a baby blanket with, with those. <laughs> bought a bunch of this Trubu yarn a couple years ago because I wanted to make like a pool cover-up that had was color blocking and I never did that. I feel like there's a theme going on here. <laughs> that you you get stuff. This is the thing. I was like before this when we Here's were filming I was like I feel like maybe we should get rid of some stuff and she was like mm, I don't think that's a problem. I think that's the problem. You need to get rid of some stuff. That could happen. The I, home edit says to get I to get maybe, rid of stuff. I could maybe be down for that. Okay, so another yarn. I'm gonna bring this stuff. is rewind tape yarn from Lion Brand, and I bought this to make a bag. I wanted to design like a. Beach that, bag. I feel like you should because that's really cute. Yeah. So I wanted to design a beach bag <laughs> and I never did. So again. Oh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Another Tough favorite Puff. is Tough Puff from Knit Picks. I use this in a bunch Sorry. of my hats. Recently, my Annalie hat, I'll link that below, uses Tough Puff. This is a really great, super bulky yarn. 100% wool from Knit Pit. Love it, love it, love it. Oh. God, this is a little overwhelming. No, Mom, it's okay, you got this. This is where I put a lot of my swatches is in this like little jar. So I have some swatches on my wall that I've hung up and then I keep the rest in this little jar. Yep. That was so from a cute. cowl that I designed. Next. Oh, I loved it when you made yeah, this. That was my Levand crop. Yeah, that's cute. So this is Knit Picks palette right here. Macy, I have a ton of this. Mm. Put it in that bin. Can I see it? Oh, a calendar. That's cool. Oh, can I see it? Okay, this is like garbage, so. Can I go under this? Oh, is that necessary? Yeah. It totally was. <laughs> that was not necessary. It was. Look at this. A really cool calendar from Knit Picks. Does anyone use paper calendars Can anymore? Grandma does. Actually, oh my god, look how cute. Wait, can I see it? I'm totally gonna hang this up Wait. in here. Oh my Let's god. Let's hang it up. Wait. Okay, this is the dishcloth over here. Dishcloth, in case I ever make another dishcloth. 
Oh, mom, this is like way more yarn. Not way more, but more yarn. I know. We were over there gonna go organize some books, and I, she was like, oh, sorry. She was like, oh, there's more books in here. Does this look like books to you? This is more yarn. What are we gonna do with this? <laughs> this is too much. What can I say? What is this? <laughs> this is more yarn. This is not more books. Yarn. It's all yarn. Oh my God. What? I organized dad closet. That was easier than this. Yeah. <laughs> this is some Rama. Is Rama? Perfect like for Rama. color work. Oh Love it. God. Okay, so I've cleared out, started kind of clearing out some of this space here. This is where I keep a lot of my fingering weight uh, hand dyed yarn, like this beautiful skein here from February Fiber Co. Also love this Take a Dip by Sorella that I was wanting to maybe do a shawl for. I have my Addy knitting machine that I keep up here. I have a bunch of tutorials and different patterns for the Addy if you're interested. I clearly have way too much stuff. But I think I'm gonna do fingering weight and maybe try and shove DK in with it, maybe. Okay, maybe I'll do fingering weight and sport and lace in that and then DK and worsted and some bulky down here. And then we need to get to organizing the books. Okay, so after me and my mom organized this whole thing, it goes from light all the way to dark. And um, yeah, that's pretty much. <laughs> For two, like two oh my years. God, Mom. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I think all I need to do is just cut this. <laughs> Look at this. We have the like. This is like the top pretty layer because this was gonna be on the bottom because I was going by like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, the rainbow. But then I decided that the boring colors like gray and you know like dark colors should be on the bottom. And then the top colors will have all these pretty colors like Yes, I got a sweater. No, please, please, you're really embarrassed. Please, please get out of the I did a, I did a sneeze fart. <laughs> please edit that out. Okay. Let's do a real high five so people think we actually like each other. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Yeah, we suck. I'm back. It's day two of organizing my yarn space. We actually started this project on Saturday, I think. And today is Tuesday. So I'm just finally getting back to it. We kind of had to leave everything because the baby was crying and then we were busy all day Sunday and Monday. So here we are. Well, I should say here I am. My helper is at school today. So I'm gonna get a little bit more done before she gets home. I don't know how I thought I was going to get all of this done in one day or in a few hours. And after we started, I realized that I had a lot more that I <laughs> didn't even know I had. So progress after day one. I am loving how things are looking over here. Okay, we need to tackle in here. So this is where I keep all of my knitting books and magazines. This bin here has designs that have kind of been forgotten or left um or things like my everly tea towel that i'm just keeping this bag here is actually all of my grandmother's knitting items um, my grandmother was a big knitter when she passed away a few years ago they gave me her bag of knitting things this white 
situation here is a lot of random notions. This bin here is filled with, again, like needles. So I have another bin all cleaned out. What I've decided to do with this bin is put all of my like ends and randoms of different yarns that are kind of in like a ball form in here. So all in this bin and find a home for them. Not very organized, but they all have a home. And at least I know that this is where to find them. It's finally done and it feels good up here for now. <laughs> I do still have a lot of things that aren't like super organized and part of it has to do with I just have too much stuff. So one thing I really learned from this process is I need to work on using the yarns that I have, being a little bit more creative and actually finishing the projects that I set out to make. So that's something I'm going to work on this year. I am going to challenge myself to not buy any yarn at all and really instead finish the projects that I've started. So let's see if I can do it. Thank you so much for watching along on this process. If you want more videos like this, make sure to hit subscribe and leave a comment below, maybe some of your favorite yarns that you've used or maybe some pattern ideas that I can design using the, pa the yarns that I showed you in the video. Thank you.